Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a quick video over um, this new Festool Cal 2 light. Um, I wanted to do a video on this because I personally was trying to find one uh, on YouTube when I was trying to decide if I wanted to buy one or not. And I found a couple, but a lot of them were older videos. Um, so I thought I would just get do a quick kind of rundown of of the light itself, what it comes with, and do some real world examples here in, in my shop with it on, with the lights off, so you can kind of see how bright it gets and and if uh, any of the applications might be useful for you and your shop if you would like one. Um, so anyway, it comes with this uh, nylon zipper bag. Obviously, it doesn't come in a sustainer, but you know, it's just a light. Uh, the kit that I bought comes with a magnetic. Uh, uh, tripod ball head mount similar to it's got the quarter quarter 20 uh, mounting option under the light so you can mount this thing to any standard tripod you want to but the kit that I happen to get came with this Festool uh, magnetic mount now I'll show you guys here in a little bit where I actually attach them the magnet portion or the the base portion of this uh, tripod head but it's actually pretty cool. You can you can screw it into anything. You can screw it to a two by four frame. You can screw it to a wall. You can screw it to a cabinet like I have. Um, wherever you can put a screw in, uh, you can mount the base and then attach this tripod uh, ball head mount to that. And then of course screw on the light, and you, you've got pretty much light anywhere. Uh, this also has a clip that you can uh, take out, hang. If you know if it's a, a two by four, perfect. If you want to hang it from a rafter or a joist or whatever, so you know that can come in handy. I don't, I don't personally use this 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 part of it myself. I'm not a framer, but uh, for you guys that are, that might come in come in useful. It's got an internal battery. Uh, I don't know the life span on it. I believe it's it might be an hour and a half on high, uh, but you guys can read up on that. I don't I don't have all those specific technical specs on this thing but um, so it's got your low mode your high mode off uh, low mode is 300 and f approximately 350 lumens and then your high is around approximately 750 lumens now when you're on battery and, and, it, and you put it on the high mode it will cycle down to the low mode after about a minute and a half, two minutes, I believe, just to save the internal battery. Um, so keep that in mind. I thought I had a defective one when I just had it like this. It will cycle down if it's not plugged into a, a standard power, which leads me to also say that you do have a, it does, this kit does come with a standard, you know, power plug that you can plug in directly to, to any outlet. Um, as well as you can use your flat pack Festool batteries on this as well. So there's three options to keep this, this light going, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, the kit also comes with um, a DC charger, I believe, car charger, cigarette lighter charger, um, which is cool because I actually used this on our last camping trip. It went out of batteries and charged it up directly from my truck. So that was a pretty cool little, little add-on with the kit. So um, it does have, if you can tell, it's got different angles on the side. So you can set this up this way and it's going to project light a certain way. You can lay it this way and it's going to project light more up. And you can lay it this way and it's going to project light more down. So this this direction, this this angle that I found is really useful is when you're when I'm refinishing cabinets. You know, you can lay it on the table, finish the cabinet, and you can easily tell what part of the cabinet you haven't hit with, um, you know, poly or varnish, whatever you're using. Um, so that's really useful to tell what you need to go back and and make sure that you coat the piece of furniture that you're refinishing or or, or painting, whatever wherever the case may be. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, again, high. It's pretty bright. So I'm going to take you along now. I'm going to turn the lights off in the shop, and I'm going to show you my 
um, applications, how I have it set up. I have it set up above my MFT table, um, right where I do most of my domino when I use my domino. Um, I just needed some additional lighting and this is coming uh, really pretty handy. So I'll take you along and show you how I do it. Okay guys, so here's a close up uh, of this, uh, the Festool Cal 2 uh, little sys light um, mounted on the, the ball head that it, that it came with in my particular kit. You can buy this without the kit and I believe it's about $50 cheaper. Um, but if you go buy this ball head separately, it's 75 bucks. So it technically saves you 25 bucks if you want to end up getting one of these things. But, uh, so here's, you know, what it looks like. And it's heavy guys. It's, it's solid. It's a solid piece of a tool here, but up here is how I have it mounted. So here's the magnetic, um, plate that it comes with. The ball head, uh, I'm just this is the power cord that I have it wrapped around, so don't pay any attention to that. But I have it mounted above where I do all my cutting, and so when I want to have some additional lighting, you know, you just stick this thing and it sticks. You got to be watch your hands, but uh, I have it mounted, you know, directly above. And let me get it tightened down here for a second. So that's kind of the setup that i generally have is this right here and it, it it just provides a lot of good additional light right here where if i'm doing dominoes or if i'm doing a sanding project or just doing a, a fit up of, of whatever uh it's really useful man to have some good powerful light right here so let me cut the lights off in the shop completely so all my lights are off, as you can see, and this is the only light that is uh, illuminating my MFT. Now it'll probably cycle down here in just a little bit if I keep recording. But uh, the cool thing about you know this 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 mount is you know it's you can tweak it, you can move it any way you like it. Tighten down the ball head if it stays on the I don't have it on the magnet very well, but. I mean, you can move this thing however you want. You know. So it's it's really useful. It really is. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's come in real handy. Um, so it's it, I would say it was a, it was a good purchase. Um, it is Festool, so you're going to be paying for that. But uh, a lot of things in the tool world. Um, you typically get what you pay for um so hopefully this stands up to the festival name and it uh it lasts a while but you know so far i'm happy with it and and the light that it puts out is just a really really bright crisp light it's clean light there's no blue there's no yellow it's just a perfect white light um that's really useful um at least on my my aging eyes um so just a just a quick review for you guys. Uh, again, I couldn't find much on these things that were a, a recent video, so I thought I would just maybe help someone else out that was in my same boat, um, and just give a a little bit of of a rundown on how I use it. And uh, if you guys have any other questions about it or want me to to do any more videos regarding this light and and how else I use it, uh, just shoot me a comment. Have a good one.